Holy, what's good everybody? Four Room Plus here with the new Bounty Fest trailers. We got our one Chin Chao and we got the other one Hakuba. I'm gonna go over, we're gonna watch the trailers. I'm gonna be honest, I know they're not the most exciting units, but we're gonna see and see what they entail. We'll find out what the traits are, see what the trailers got. And honestly, at this rate, I'm worried we're gonna have something like Duval as the next Bounty Fest, but let's dive in and let's look at it. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves Pinhead Larry, homeboy, got the beard flowing, flourishing. Basic attacks are so short. I just want to emphasize basic attacks are so short already. I already am concerned. That skill might hurt. It might ignore damage reduction. It might ignore defense. Who knows? We'll see. It seems fine. It's a basic skill. It's so whatever. That skill, I don't know. Okay, so, what, so you just knock people back and then you just serve no other purpose? I guess it'll knock people off the flag? But Big Mom has knocked back to knockdown, so she's just going to get back up and take your flag anyway. So... I'm interested to see what the damage... I thought you would be able to move around. That'd be kind of cool, but I mean, I guess it makes sense that you can't. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. Basic attacks seem really short. So far, I haven't seen any heals. Let me see. Let me double check. Let me double check. Okay, no heals yet. No buffs. Nothing. Skill one, I think. Still no heals or no buffs. No heals or no buffs from that. Interesting. Now, they did say something about you heal. They did say actually something in the thing. You heal when they hit you when you, while you're spinning. That does look like a free perfect dodge. It looks like Rayleigh's going to be able to jump into you and just knock you out of that. Potentially, if you're able to be knocked back out of that. Whenever attacked, he can heal himself while dealing damage based on his max HP. Whenever attacked. So it must be when it's like either below 10%, kind of like who's who and what he has. Potentially. Uh, Chin Zhao gets a defensive shield each time he is attacked consecutively in a set period of time. That's actually kind of crazy if you're hit, getting hit by multi-hitters. That might be insane. I don't know, honestly, but the hard hitters are going to be the bigger concern, like Shanks, which is, he's a blue defender, so that's an issue. Let's look at Hakuba. What is this? Blue runner, slicing winds of Rome, allows him to move towards the enemy and attack. It will stun both him and the enemy. Be sure to use his trait that nullifies stun when he's above a certain HP. So it sounds like if you're below HP, you'll just end up stunning yourself. I mean, I'm kind of down for characters who have, like, there's, like, weaknesses to play against. Oh, poor Bartho. B Bartho plays. Shout out, homeboy. Didn't even get a Bartho V2. I'm assuming that skill's the one. Okay, so you heal. You heal plenty from that. Interesting. Where's this, an or this stun? Okay, so it's like a dead. Uh, this skill is so overused. Like, you have Rob Lucci who uses this. You have Shanks who uses this. You have Rayleigh who uses this. These skills where you just dash forward and teleport. You have King. King uses this. Like, how many abilities do we have where they just dash forward and slice? We have kind of like the one version of Brooke kind of has this ability. Somewhat. It's a little modified. It's starting to get a little overused at this point, in my opinion. But, I mean, it is Cavendish. What really can you do with him? I don't know. Obviously, the traits is kind of what brings the most fun to all of these characters. So that's going to be the most interesting to see where and how they take it with these characters. So I'm interested to see what happens. These characters are obviously, I think, not the most exciting. I'll be honest. Even myself, I don't think I will find myself summoning on this. I don't think these are the characters that are really for me. I They are someone's favorite, but they're just not my favorite. And I don't care how good they are. I'm not a meta slave. I'm just, I'm just trying to play characters that I enjoy. That's all. So anyways, that is our trailer review. It looks like Hakuba has some heals. He potentially could be roughing out some fat damage. We'll find out and see. Xin Zhao still kind of concerned when he's fighting a Shanks because that's like the main green unit that's going to be played and will counter and destroy you and Zoro, honestly. Well, Zoro hits multiple times, so that might not be a big of an issue for him. So this might, Xin Zhao, I think is probably going to be a Zoro counter, but Shanks, I think will still destroy him. Anyways, that is our gameplay overview. That is a bounty fest for the next month. Expect step ups in the future where potentially there's people like Viola. There's a bunch of the other Dolphy crew. We could potentially get Leo and Ideo were actually in leaks forever ago. That is possible. We'll find out and see if that actually happens. But I don't know. We'll stay tuned. But that's all I have, you guys. I'm Boardroom Post. Be sure to check out my Twitch and Twitter. Also join my Discord. Links are in the description below. But I'm Boardroom Post and we'll be taking off. Yeah, holy.